In this lesson, we are going to solve basically a question from exercise 2D of uh, uh, D27th edition. My name is Omar Hassan and subscribe my channel if you haven't done it so. And you can find the solutions of uh, these as well as of past papers as well as on different topics of maths in my playlist. So starting from question number 4 of exercise 2B of D27th uh, edition. The question is consider the equation and the equation is minus 2x plus y is equal to minus 3. And the part is copy and complete the table and the table is we have got the values of x and the corresponding values of y. So, when x is minus 1, you need to find the value of y. When x is 0, you need to write down the value of y. And when x is 2, you need to find the value of y. So, using the equation minus 2x plus y equal to minus 3. Now, when you use x equal to minus 1 here, so when x is minus 1 you can use the value over here it will be minus 2 into minus 1 plus y is equal to minus 3 so minus 1 into minus 2 is plus 2 plus y equals minus 3 now move this 2 on the right side it will be minus 3 minus 2 so you can get value of y as minus 5 so for this value of x value of y is minus 5 Again use the value of x equal to 0 in the same equation. So you will get minus 2 into 0 plus y equal to minus 3. Minus 2 into 0 is 0 plus y equal to minus 3. So when x is 0, y is minus 3. Similarly, when x is 2, find the value of y by putting x equal to 2 in the equation minus 2x plus y equal minus 3. So, minus 2 in place of x use 2 plus y equal minus 3. Minus 2 into 2 is minus 4 plus y equal minus 3. So, y will be equal to minus 3 plus 4 as 4 on going on the right side will become plus. So, y will be equal to plus 1. It will be plus 1. So, this is the solution for part 1. Now, so part 2 says that is part number B. On a sheet of graph paper, right over here, using a scale of 1 centimeter to represent, okay, that is now using a scale of 4 centimeter, the 4 centimeter represents 1 unit and on which axis? On x axis. So, this is for x axis, okay, and for y axis we have got the scale 2 centimeter represents one unit okay on y axis and we have to draw the graph of graph of minus 2x plus y equal to minus 3 for minus 1 is less than or equal to x and less than or equal to 2 for these values of x. First of all, complete your graph mean 4 centimeter to 1 unit on the x axis mean 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 centimeter, 1 unit. 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 centimeter, again 1 unit. 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 centimeter, and you have got one unit over here mean one unit one unit one unit for every four centimeters similarly you can write it over here one centimeter two three and four so that is minus one because this side is minus x axis while this side is positive x axis on y axis you have got the scale 2 centimeter for one unit mean one centimeter and one centimeter two centimeter for one 
next two centimeter for one next two centimeter for one next two centimeter for one now how to draw the graph using okay we can use these values as these are from minus one till two x is minus one till two so when x is minus one y is minus five we also need to include y on the negative side okay so this is uh, one centimeter two centimeter this is minus one two centimeter is equal to one unit on y axis again two centimeter again two centimeter to one unit two centimeter to one unit and two centimeter to one unit so when x is minus one y is minus five where is x minus one x is minus one y is minus five okay this point at this point x is minus one y is minus five the next one is x is zero y is minus three x is zero y is minus one minus two minus three this point okay when x is two y is one x is two over here one two three four x is two and y is plus one so this one okay okay now join these points with a straight line to have your graph that is okay right over here so this line is representing the graph of like right over here this line represents the graph for this equation minus 2x plus y is equal to minus 3 so part number b has been solved now part number c is c part 1 on the same axis in b draw the graph of y is equal to minus 1 we have to draw the graph for this equation now y is equal to minus 1 first of all this is your y axis and on y axis look for the value minus 1 this is y equal to minus 1 so pass a line that should be through this minus 1 so this line is the graph for y is equal to minus 1 it should pass through that value of y where it is minus 1 on this whole line y is minus 1 at every point here as well as here as well as here y is minus 1 whereas x is changing x has got different values over here and over here while y is constant and part number 2 is part number 2 you have to find the area of trapezium area of trapezium okay uh, bounded by the lines bounded by the lines and which are these lines that is minus 2x plus y equal to minus 3 y equal to minus 1 and x axis and y axis okay so first of all identify your trapezium one of the line is this one this is the line for minus 2x plus y equal to minus 3 okay this is the line for this equation the second line is y is equal to minus 1 this line y is equal to minus 1 one of the line is this one second one is this third one is uh, x axis where is x axis okay this is our x axis so I let this one okay and y axis which is this line so this is y axis this is x axis so we have got our trapezium it should be between x axis y axis okay this one this area exactly now this is the part which is between y is minus 1 y axis x axis and the line minus 2x plus y equal to 4 here you have got x axis here you have got this line here you have got y axis 
and this is the line y equal to minus 1. We need to find the area for this. So, the area of trapezium is area of trapezium is h by 2 into sum of parallel sides. Here we go. So, h is no, this is trapezium these sides are parallel sides and the distance perpendicular distance between these two sides is height and that is 1 this is 0 this is minus 1 so the distance is 1 because it can't be negative so 1 by 2 into sum of parallel sides now this side is 1.5 because 4 centimeter is 1 unit and then 2 centimeter is half unit so, this is 1.5 units plus 1.5 plus now this one is 1 unit because it is 4 centimeter 1, 2, 3, 4. So, it is 1 unit. So, your answer will be 1 by 2 into 2.5 that is 2.5 over 2 which is basically 1 into 1 over 4 centimeter square. So, this is the solution for this part. Keep watching. Thank you.